So me and a couple of my buddies went camping last summer alongside the Willamette River. We actually had a decent hike into the deep end of woods. We did some night fishing, listening to music, and basically drank to the point where everything was funny later in the night. I would guess we finally called it a night somewhere past 2 a.m. I shared a tent with one of my buds while the other two shared another tent. We heard them laughing about something. At first we laughed at the sound of their laughing, but it soon got annoying and we yelled for them to shut up. One of them responded, it isn't us. I sat up, startled at the response. I came to realize that it was the sound of only one person laughing, and it didn't sound like either one of my friends. Even in my drunk state, I realized how odd it was for somebody to be out this far in the woods so late at night. The laughing gradually got closer and louder to our camp out. My friend shot up and looked at me with a worried look on his face. I heard my other friends scream over to us that they were getting freaked out. As the laughing got even closer, I could make it out very clearly to be the laugh of a male, probably in his 30s or 40s. He sounded like he was as drunk as us, messing around with friends, but we only heard his laugh, nobody else. There was something indescribably creepy about his laugh too, as if it was missing something to it. You had to be there to understand what I mean. The laughing was now just at the edge of our campsite. <laughs> but we couldn't hear any footsteps at all. Now that may not seem like a big deal. It was impossible to move through that without making noise. And finally, all of a sudden, the laughing stopped completely. We had no idea where whoever that was was standing, as he hadn't made a single stepping sound. We sat there in silence looking at each other. My friend was clearly freaking out, but he was keeping it together the best he could. Finally, something broke the silence. The sound of something rubbing against the cottony fabric of the tent. We saw the outline of a hand through the moonlight, pressing on the tent. We both screamed at the top of our lungs before getting out of the tent. We ran as fast as we could through the woods, our other friends following us. After about five minutes of running, we somehow found our car. I actually puked from running so much before taking the wheel. I don't condone drinking and driving, but I still believe we were just in this situation. By far the most horrific experience of my life. No idea who or what the hell that was, or what they wanted.